healers welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today we have another unbox flip through and it's for this lovely deck here the queen of moon oracle this deck has been in my wish list for a while it's not new by any means but it has for some reason just been there and uh, i didn't purchase but finally it's here now so this is a deck from stacy demarco okay i have seen this deck in many tarot readers many people like this deck and it was always on my list i don't know for some reason okay didn't purchase you can see here we have beautiful colors it has 44 cards in the guidebook you can see you can open it inside here it's the rock pool publishing sturdy box okay very nice and the beautiful colors really okay go straight away you can open here on the side and this one has just arrived from arrived for me okay i just took off the plastic and you can see here still with the ceiling here didn't take it off yet you can see the guidebook okay beautiful silver colors inside here lovely i'll zoom in a little bit more just to make sure we see everything maybe not so much okay lovely you can see here the guidebook it's about let's see 107 pages and you can see here you can find it in order it has these cards are numbered as well so it's going to be easy enough how to use the cards all the information the spreads and the, the you can see here the nice thing is the cards you can see here the images are colorful you know it's like that and you can see here it's about a page and a half some of them have longer okay like two pages explanation but about a page and a half each yeah just some of them a bit longer but lovely so you can see here good guidebook colorful as well i like that and we leave here what we'll do is we go through flip through and like always i will mix at the end we know we shuffle together and i read one of them in the guidebook so we can make sure so you have an idea as well how the guidebook is the kind of messages you can find but of course with these decks you can find you know um your intuition you use your intuition to read it so just taking this off you can see here the backs it's it's on the shiny side okay just compare here with the size as always comparing with the light sears which is a standard tarot size you can see here bigger like normally oracle cards are okay so 44 cards you can see here the back with the moon phases lovely and i like this one you can have a few different uh, things to look here because there are symbols there are numbers beautiful images and there's a keyword as well so it's a dark moon and then it's, it's telling you like the it's a dark moon here and then the void in this case so you have a couple of keywords so it's really good i'll make sure we see here i'll go through the flip through and again guys i'm gonna you know mix them at the end shuffle and we see which is the card of the day for us today i read from the guidebook and you have you see how the book is so you can see beautiful images new moon beginnings waxing crescent realization Oxen Crescent 2, Acceptance, and you can see here the symbols, the numbers as well, and you can use the numbers. It's really nice. I like the colors. This is a good size as well. Waxing Crescent 3, Growth. Waxing Crescent 4, Self-Love. I like the images. They are different. They are really nice. Waxing Crescent 5, Nourishment. You can see here, there's so much to see. You can read for yourself. You can have card of the day. You can read for others. Waxing Crescent 6, the path. And the first quarter moon, assessing. Beautiful images, really. They are different. You see here, the kind of images, really interesting. Waxing Gibbles 1, discernment. Waxing Gibbles 2, Fear. Very interesting image here. 
Maxine give us three boundaries. Waxing Gables 4 wheel. They are on the shiny side, but they're not so sticky. You see, they're not sticky together, so it'll be fine to shuffle. Waxing Gables 5 focus. Beautiful image. You see here how interesting. I like it. Waxing Gables 6 action. Hopefully, you can see all the beautiful colors and interesting image for sure. Full moon power. Beautiful. One in Gibbles one self reflection. One in Gibbles two pleasure. One in Gibbles three balance. One in Gibbles four beauty. You see here, he actually. Makes the face like a face as well. Lovely. One in Gibbles five resilience. Reminds of the ten of wands as well. One in Gibbles six wisdom. Nice here with the books. You can get so much from the images as well, you know. That's why you can always. You can go from the guidebook, which is nice, but you can always read with your intuition, really. Last quarter, moon, gratitude. And you can see here, guys, the last quarter showing, it is showing here, you know. One in crescent, one, protection. One in crescent two res resistance. One in crescent three cre surrender. One in crescent four release. Beautiful image. One in crescent five peace. The colors are really nice. Wolf, moon, hunger. Nice. Look at this image. Beautiful. Snow, moon, purity. Warm, moon, faith. I'll be here. Egg Moon Trust Flower Moon Blossoming Hot Moon Extremes Very interesting Thunder Moon Change so much to see in this in these images they are really lovely green corn moon patience harvest moon fruition can't wait to see what's on the guidebook very very interesting keywords as well hunter moon abundance Beaver Moon Creation Long Night Moon Darkness And this is the cover here, beautiful Queen of the Moon Sovereignty Lunar God, the Masculine Blue Moon, The Unexpected. And the last one is the Super Moon Attraction. Beautiful, beautiful. Lovely images, very intriguing and different, you know. Definitely nice and different, colorful. Different keywords as well. So there's so much you can get from these. I feel like you could do 
shadow work you could do light or shadow kind of questions here to get from this so very interesting i'm just gonna shuffle here together and i'll read from the guidebook so we see what the guidebook has here to offer okay to us so today what do we need here what can we get from the queen of moon oracle what's the message we need today okay surrender waxing crescent tree surrender 26 okay we'll find here on the guidebook you can see here is in order you know like the number so it's easy to find you can see here a page and a half i'll read for you okay so surrender surrendering doesn't mean giving up let go of what you no longer need stop being so stubborn about holding on to aspects and behaviors that don't align with who you are now stop struggling i let go i surrender my struggle i allow the universe to work through me it took me a long time to realize that surrendering was a positive thing now don't get me wrong i don't mean the giving up kind of surrender i mean the okay it's time for me to hand this over type of surrender for those of us who are highly independent and used to doing things quite a blight on our own, admitting we need assistance or that we might indeed have to let something go for our betterment can be challenging. Letting go and surrendering admits or exposes a vulnerability or two. To surrender, we may need to show our underbelly we may need to admit we got it wrong, made a mistake, grew a bad habit, surrendered ourselves with people that are not good for us. It can make us feel raw in our realization. Remember, this moon phase is dark and beautiful. It casts a protective shadow that allows us to be a wide open as we need to be to do our work. We reveal safety to only the divine and ourselves, and then the light returns. Companion stone or metal, orange calcite. Lovely message here for us today, guys. You can see here the colorful image as well, you know, on the guidebook. So that's always nice to see. And surrender, beautiful message here of surrendering. If there is something that's not longer serving us, and you can see here that's like an affirmation as well. I let go. And there is a companion stone, so it's an idea of if you want to have a crystal with you, orange calcite. Very, very nice and useful as well. You know, beautiful here, guys. No doubt you will see these cards again on my pick a card videos. And I'm thinking to use some of them on the message of the day as well, you know, because you can see the messages are very nice. And I will, I can read more. So you will hear more of the guidebook, okay, if you're interested. So look out for those um, cards on the message of the day because I normally read from the guidebook that they have. So you hear more from these ones. But beautiful colors, lovely, definitely a deck that you will see again because it's really interesting, very interesting images as well. I think there's so much you can get from this so guys let me know if you like it like always i'll leave all the details below if you want to have them for yourself and um, again if you like this video leave me a comment let me know you know i'm always happy to hear from you and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching